What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are doing a weekly update So if you're not at your console or you're not able to check this is the video for you So we're going to be going through everything that they've added today and We're going to be talking about a couple of things that are upcoming and giving you my thoughts on a few little bits and pieces as well So they do start by saying that there is new upcoming events that are going to be held during June in line with the team of season five You've got scheduled to begin on the 1st of the 6th, which is today, all the way to the 5th of the 6th. It's pretty much rinse and repeat. So if you have been playing this game for a while, you will know that this is pretty much standard for the last 12 months. Which, again, for me, is a little bit of a pity um, because I'm still waiting. Like, I still think, look, there will be big changes coming with the next... Um, I think the fact that they're not releasing anything significant is going to um, is going to kind of work in the favour of like the future um now maybe that's just being glass half full as i usually am uh but i do think that the fact that anything they release going forward is going to be you know of the utmost importance now in terms of uh player attention and longevity of the game because obviously when e football 24 comes out they're gonna have to have something different than what we've what we've had now we also talk and they also talk about the mobile sixth anniversary goal rush so this was a campaign that they did over the last couple of weeks um where it was basically an accumulation of goals scored by all players across every uh, device so it was pez on or it was eFootball mobile um and it was eFootball on consoles and steam and it was basically a reward that was going to be held from the period of the 18th to the 5th to the 8th of the 6th so there is still time on it there and you can see that the reward delivery will be coming from the 8th of the 6th, uh, which is next week. So this day, next week, next Thursday, um, it'll be the number of goals you have scored, right? So um, this is going to be, obviously, you would imagine, um, uh, like, it's going to depend where they were. I think the last time that we looked at it, I think they had 1.1 billion. Um, so it'll be interesting to see that but we will we will have a crack at that and 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 see in a little bit as well but just to go back obviously just exit out of this for a sec we do have the new uh, player cards as well uh ronaldinho iniesta and belletti um ronaldinho obviously this is probably going to be one of the most groundbreaking cards i think look ronaldinho just plays different he moves different in the game um, and I think the fact that he's now, you know, got an ambassador pack or a big time showtime card. Um, this card has been in the database for quite a while. Uh, I think he's going to be a monster. Iniesta. I mean, to be honest, lads, I would love Iniesta. I haven't got him this year apart from the standard card. I think he's insane. We will do a review on him. And then, of course, Belletti, who they throw in here as well, is uh, is going to be an interesting choice to have as well. I mean, usually right backs don't don't really, you know, you don't really get too excited about them. Um, but those are the three players for Barcelona and they are part of the season five as well um, so yeah you're going to get a few spins at them as well we get our login bonuses here we get our special login bonus that kicks off from the first of the sixth you've got your one uh, card here which is going to be a player of the week you've also got 30,000 GP tomorrow uh, and then Saturday Sunday and then Monday you've got your 100 coins again so this is going to run all the way up until the eighth of the sixth and then you also get your Barcelona uh, item as well, your Bayern Munich victory campaign, which we'll get into in a sec. But just to go back to this without spending a massive amount of time on it, right? Just to go back on this, as I was saying, I think this kind of feeds in that I think this schedule and this kind of like uh, content drop or events drop, I think this needs a big boost, a big boost uh, for the next big update of eFootball. I mean, as of right now, I think, you know, we're going to probably have more of the same until they come out with the next big massive update, which I think will be sooner than later. Um, I just feel like the next big step needs to needs to happen. And once it does, then they are going to be committing to that as well. So that is just something, you know, because we've seen all this before, you know, we've seen all these worldwide clubs, Spanish League, whatever, um, and all that sort of stuff. We've seen it before. Now, I do have a lot in my inbox here that we will get to when we are live streaming later. Um, but this authentic match here, we have a new event. So for the last couple of weeks, we've had events where we've had the teams that are licensed to Konami. So Napoli, Barcelona, and now Bayern. You have got this challenge event where you get these players. Uh, you get these players that you can get uh, by just completing this challenge. Now, this is easy, man, especially for newcomers or whatever. You just play with Bayern. And all you're literally doing is using the Bayern Munich team that you have here and you get a free chance deal at a Bayern Munich pack. So this is a celebration pack uh, of the five players that you see. 
um, which we'll get into in a second. In the actual Dream Team events itself, as we've already spoken about, it's rinse and repeat. Um, you've got your Spanish League against the AI. You've got the Liga BBVA. Um, and then you've also got your Unlimited and your J-League, which are free playing online. You get your 50 eFootball coins there. You get your 50 eFootball coins there. There is a couple of conditions on them. But as normal, that's what they are. So, yeah, I mean, again, this needs to be expanded out, man. You know, it's been a long time now before we've had a big update to that. And then the rest of the stuff that we're going to see here is going to be, of course, you guessed it, coins and uh, special players and stuff like that related to that. So we do have, in my opinion, two very good packs. And we also have a really good worldwide event um, as well there. So I do expect if you look at the MVP seasons, they are ending in six days time. So they're the nominating contract cards. We will be getting new ones of them next Thursday. Um, but for these ones, we've got Ronaldinho, Andres Iniesta and Belletti. I mean, Ronaldinho goes to 99 overall. He's going to go over 100 with the team play style. Looks insane. Um, he is going to be insane. The big thing with this Ronaldinho card is that acceleration, 85, and he also has 29 levels, which, I mean, is ridiculous, really, when you think about it, to go to a 99 overall. Um, we've also got Andres Iniesta, and again, you've got, like, a lot of really good stuff about that card, but we will get into that. The second pack that's on display is Juventus. You've got Del Piero, Nedved, and, of course, everyone's favorite, DMF. Uh, Davids, if you don't have Makalele or Davids, I think you are at a disadvantage, um, unless you've got, you know, Kante or somebody. Um, Davids is going to be a monster. We'll do a review on all of these lads in a separate video and a training guide and stuff like that. Worldwide Player of the Weeks, we've got Messi, we have got Musiala, we've got Martinez, Griezmann, Xhaka. We've also got Xavi Simmons, a couple there that we need to take a closer look at. Messi, I think, is a whole player, so... That is going to be interesting as well if you are looking for a whole player Messi. Um, it's something to kind of talk about. Um, and then we also have the Bayern Munich pack. So this Bayern Munich pack will only appear once you get the uh you get the present, the login present. So you will see there at the moment that uh we won't be getting this, we won't be able to go in and get this player, right? We won't be able to go in and get this player. Um, that is ending in six days as well as if you haven't got Perez. Um, oh, what am I going into? Um, but yeah, this Bayern Munich pack, it won't be here in your contract. So you won't be able to sign for him in here at all uh, until you actually get the get the card in your possession, right? So we have one free one here and then you can earn another two, okay? So this one here, we'll just take this here for now. And when we go back out, we're going to have a new contract here. Again, this is mostly for newcomers if you don't notice. Once you have that in your possession, then you will have it here. So these are the five players that we have here. We've got Up and Meccano, we've got Gnabry, we've got Gretzka, Komen, and uh, Moting. So I think Goretzka is going to be the pick of him here, lads, especially being on A form. Like, he looks like a really, really strong card, except for the acceleration there is a little low. But we will get into review on all of these and yeah, that is it for me, lads. That is it for most of the most of the news. I mean, look, my thoughts are as as I've always said, we need more stuff. We need more than this just content drop. But we will get into that in the live stream later. Um, because as we said, we do have new objectives and stuff like that, which is fine. But in terms of like even the eFootball point store, um, you know, I think they need to kind of expand it out a little bit. You know, all the all the stuff is there, everything is there. Um, it just needs to be expanded. So that is it for me, Les. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you later. And I'll have the reviews up, the training guides up, and we will be live streaming. So I'll talk to you then. Peace.